Hello, welcome. My name is Cindy St. Martin and I am an angel therapist. And thank you for visiting. You're watching my weekly angel card reading for the week of December 23rd, 2012. So how are you? How was your week? We're entering into Christmas and uh, Kwanzaa. So if you celebrate one of those holidays, I wish you many blessings and love of celebration and joy. So uh, I'm a little late posting my video today. I had a busy, 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 busy morning. I thought I'd get out before the rest of the shoppers and finish last minute shopping and, and, uh, and preparations. And I was totally successful. Not too much traffic. It was great. So I hope the same is for you. So today, I am going to use three different card decks and select one card from each deck for our reading. And we'll see what the week brings. I'm going to start with the Angel Tarot card. And yes, I'm by my tree again this week. Uh, it be a little bit festive for the holidays. I hope you have wonderful plans. Maybe be with family and friends. I hope you didn't spend a lot of money. Because uh, Christmas is not about that, okay? It's about giving of yourself and what you can, okay? And not live in the expectations of what others think. If it comes from your heart, then it's never wrong. If it puts stress or financial burden on you, that's not, that's not a blessing. Because you have to care for yourself first, okay? All right, so I'm shuffling, and we'll see what the cards bring us. We have a very cold, wintry day, and I want to remind you, uh, I see everyone survived Friday, the 21st. The energies of the universe are still very strong and powerful from the winter solace. And, and, and the alignment of the planets. And they will be until the 24th. And even after that. But it's really very strong now. So you want to make sure you keep your thoughts and energies elevated. Your vibrations high and positive. And put and think only the things that you desire. That you want to manifest. And without doubt. And you must keep that very strong now. Okay. Okay, I think I'm going to cut the deck here. <laughs> hmm. The Ten of Air. I think I'm going to read two cards to you. The Ten of Air comes up. Can you see? Pull it back a little bit. And it reads, the end of a difficult situation, which is perfect, because right now major changes are happening. For all of us. And it says the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change. And expect things to get better now. Recovering from. Uh, it could be a recovery from an addiction. Or, or problems. Or anything like that. There's going to be recovery. Big changes going on. And that's the perfect. One of the perfect cards. That could come up at this time. Which is great. And the other one that was next to it. I want to share with you too. And it's the two of water. And it reads, a relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness, the positive resolution to a conflict, which is really good because now we're getting to the end of the year and these changes, we want forgiveness. We want to, uh, you know, uh, bring our relationships closer together. They may not be perfect, but if there's peace between you, and you bring that love and bondness between you, then that's what counts. You know, uh, it may not never be the same as it was before, but coming to that peace and understanding and putting that love out and forgiveness, remember, out to the universe, it comes back to you. So it's very, very, very important for that to happen. Okay, so I'm going to go to the romance cards. We, we want to forgive and, and open our arms. Some people don't want to forgive. Some people hold a grudge forever. Just let him go surrender them to God and let him take care of them. They'll eventually come around. But just 
don't let that weight on weight put weight on you uh their um negativity or unforgiving way okay i dropped the card and we'll use this one because <laughs> i dropped it it says romance feelings or the angels dropped it i should say your feelings are real and worth exploring There's love is God's most highest vibration of all. And whether it comes in loving what you do for a living, whether you, it comes from loving a child or a significant other or a soulmate or a friend or loving to listen to music, whatever love is involved, it's the highest vibration of all. And it's one that God and the angels and the ascended masters respond to most more powerful it's very powerful so the feelings that you're feeling whether it's for rom romantic feelings we're talking about are real and worth exploring now this could be with you personally or your significant other uh, they also too and they may want to explore it and if you want to allow it open your heart to receive it you know or open your heart to give it they might be waiting to receive as well so you want to explore it and see where it goes and take that extra little step okay and the next deck of cards i'm going to use are the angel uh, message cards and i like these cards too and we'll shuffle down and see what message they have as we head toward the end of the year you know the last week of the year I am going, I'm um, hoping to get this done. Maybe tomorrow, if not next week, I will have a 12-month a 2013 card reading. And so we'll see what the new year would bring us. So check back, come back to YouTube and check back and see when it's posted. Or if, if you haven't sub subscribed, please do so. I think they give you notices when uh, new videos put up. So, okay. All right, this card flipped over, so I'm going to use it. It says, Blessing in Disguise. The writing's kind of light there. I don't know if you can see it. But it says, What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answer prayer. You'll understand the reason behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. And this is great because we're going to be gathering with uh, family and friends and celebrating and, and, um, and you, and you want, and, and at this time with all the changes up to the 24, you know, we're going to get these major changes that are happening. So there will be blessings in the skies and, uh, how wonderful <laughs> what you thought was one thing it really isn't it's going to be something magnificent positive changes are happening the number 13 is a feminine number the number of the goddesses and we're going into 2013 so the feminine side more loving more careful uh, caring peaceful compassion things like that is going to happen so hold on tight because we're on, we're in for a joyful ride of changes and wonderful things but stay positive because the universe reacts okay so you want to make sure you do that okay so we'll go with the archangel uh, michael cards and we'll see what our prayer for the week is oh the wind is blowing here <laughs> i don't know if you can hear it if, if my microphone's picking it up but i'm sitting here facing my window to get the the light up from the from the window today sun's shining but it's windy it's really cold <laughs> so all right so we'll see all right i'm gonna cut the deck we'll see and the prayer is a favorable outcome oh how wonderful And the prayer reads, thank you for a beautiful outcome to this situation. Mm, the blessing in the skies. 
which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. So, yep, you call on Michael, your angels, uh, Jesus and God, they help you to keep the faith and stay positive because it's just going to be a wonderful, wonderful holiday. And uh, keep the faith in that. And the end of the new year, you should say, Hallelujah! <laughs> Yay! Because change is on the way. So I wish you a very blessed and loving and peaceful uh, Christmas and Kwanzaa. And may you enjoy every second of it. Great love comes from me. Blessings of light and love. I invite you to join in my Thursday evening chats. They're just wonderful. Uh, I was blessed to have a, a woman from India and a woman from Ireland join in our chat this Thursday. They stayed up later, got up early to join in. And it was just wonderful to, to talk to them. And I hope you can join me too. You go in through my website at cindyshealing.com. You can like me on Facebook, join uh, my contact list, and you'll keep information that if you need a last minute holiday present, give them a gift certificate so they can get a reading with me. The gift, gift certificates can be purchased right on my website and printed up right then and there. Okay? So thank you again. Be blessed. Have a wonderful week. And I, I care about you and I love you and I think you are absolutely magnificent and powerful when you're in the knowing. So until then, I say bye-bye.